so much. Can everybody hear me okay? Great, okay, so we have about 20 minutes, and in that time, I'm gonna try my best to explain everything about the metaverse and what you can do as brands and also consumers of the metaverse to be two feet in and fully immersed. Um, thank you, Brent, for the introduction. Um, as he mentioned, I'm Priya, and I look after our product marketing here at Meta across Middle East, Turkey, and Africa, and I'm thrilled to be here talking to you today. Go easy, it's actually my first presentation externally, post-COVID. Can't even believe that, I used to be on so many stages before, so yeah, hopefully it'll go well. Um, but I'd love to start with a question. Who out here has a VR headset? Okay, couple of hands, okay. So you're already kind of, you know, delving into the metaverse. Um, so the platforms and experiences that we kind of know today and that make up the metaverse will take what we love about today's internet, but take it to that next level. The connections and experiences that we will have with each other or by yourself will make what we know about the physical world, the internet, and all these experiences will make it so much better. Today we'll cover a foundational understanding, a creative opportunity that exists as brands, how we can build today, how you can think about building, and then also any parting thoughts or questions. Thus far, our relationship with the internet has been mainly looking at it, either through a mobile screen or a computer screen, but very much flat, almost always brokered by that screen. But from now on, you will be inside it. The possibilities of what the internet is literally laid out at your feet. And now is the time to step right in. So welcome to the metaverse, where you will have your avatar or an avatar that's not you, but an avatar that you want to be, a virtual world that you call home, shop for your virtual identities, as well as those in real life. You can play games or watch movies, discover new places around the world. And I'm sure those of you that with the, uh, the headset can see loads of different videos of places that you might like to visit fly through distant worlds, and then 3D landscape games and all the other things that will blend and move in around you. But what makes the metaverse isn't the tech and all the possible worlds. What makes the metaverse is the person in the middle of it, which is you. In the metaverse, you and each one of us is at the center of this. We're at the center of our own domain. We're surrounded by many different apps and services and we get to decide what experience we have, where we will visit, and who might visit with us. The choice is ours, and we really have the agency to decide. This is a new way of experiencing content. Building these experiences and owning the choice of what we do and what we see will lead to some of the richest and most experiences spaces, both for connectivity and also opportunity. This will be provided through entertainment, education, travel, commerce. We get to build and actually promote inclusive worlds, stories, and experiences that elevate minds, change perceptions, and make all realities a better place. This is both our opportunity and also our responsibility. The metaverse is much more than simply VR. It is a set of digital spaces that are interconnected so you can easily move between them. It lets you do all these things that you cannot do in the physical world with people that you can't physically be with. Questions for you. Does Alexa help you with your grocery list? Yeah. Does, does Google Maps tell you to get to one place to another? Yeah. And have you used any of you used filters or AR to see what a new lipstick or new glasses look like before you buy them? And I heard yeses all around. So these are actually all metaverse experiences. They're building blocks for a more immersive world. And you'll be able to access all these spaces. We're already doing it through AR, through VR, through PC, smart display and mobiles. But the variety of different spaces that become available will be more. The metaverse is here now. It's very much a part of today, but also the future. There's almost an infinite number of possibilities and experiences that you can participate in. And I mentioned some of those, and you might already be doing them. Gaming, exercise, entertainment, shopping, real estate, and productivity. Many different layers and abilities ready to experience in the embodied internet. 
In, th in terms of semantics, there's only one metaverse. There are not metaverses. The same as there's just one Earth. There are many worlds and games and rooms, but only one metaverse. Think about radio or Wi-Fi. Where are they? They're here with us all the time, simply unseen. All you have to do is tune in and hear that experience, whether that's music and be connected. Similarly, the metaverse is around us as well. It's everywhere. Once you tune in to one of those apps or devices, you're connected to it and all others who are also connected to it. Also, and this is the key, it's not created or controlled by one entity. Meta doesn't own the metaverse, neither does any other company or conglomerate. The beauty of it is, it is for everyone by everyone. There are many destinations and worlds owned by various studios, platforms, and creators, and that's one of the most special things. Now, believe it or not, the metaverse has actually been in the nascent stages of development for the last 30 years, mainly pioneered by gaming engineers and professionals. But for non-gamers, it's also easy to track from the early web days until today. Most of you will remember Web 1.0. With the advance of the World Wide Web and when it was just about information, there was no back and forth communication. It was a place to look at static pages, much like we read a newspaper. This then migrated into Web 2.0 with the advance of social platforms. The ability to connect with people on a back and forth basis, the ability to show the world a bit more of what you were about. You could create content and share it and remix it. The metaverse is the inhabitable internet where we'll share experiences with people virtually and in reality. Now, given that this is new, creativity in the metaverse requires a fundamentally different way of thinking. The new inhabited internet opens up possibilities to creative connection with people. And with a new internet comes new ideas. We need to build ideas that we can step into, ideas that people experience on their own or with others. And every single idea that we build, every creator that we work with, how we work with them will lay the foundation for every future experience. We get to practice on the tech of today and create new skills while building words for the future that are inclusive, responsible, and push the boundaries of creativity. And so what is vital to understand is the creative opportunity of the metaverse. And what we can distill it into is the three Cs, kind of the DNA behind the magic, if you will co-presence, continuity, and co-creation. So digging a little bit deeper in each one of these, co-presence, this really is the defining characteristic of the metaverse. As we fully immerse ourselves into these new experiences, we have the opportunity to feel like we're together, even though we can't be. Thanks to holograms, avatars, and other embodied forms of presence, we'll be able to communicate with subtle cues like we do in real life hand gestures, eye contact, expressions with others in the metaverse. To experience co-presence will be like being there with someone else. We'll be able to hang out, go to concerts, play games, and you'll feel these experiences together. We are moving on from a world of hanging out with your friend in a framed and static Zoom to a full body sensorial and participatory experience. When the devices are no longer the central focus, you'll have a whole new sense of presence. Imagine how much more natural this will feel than your moves in a small mobile phone. The second principle is continuity. The ability to move seamlessly between different spaces, different worlds, and products, whilst bringing with you your identity, digital goods, and all that you create along the way. We're moving from the siloed, discrete reality to a future of fluidity where you can bring your avatar its limited edition sneakers, its suite of expressions and abilities across all products and layers of the metaverse. And now it is much more than just identity. It is about making sure everything that you own and create is able to travel with you. Previously, your digital goods, pictures and videos have been locked inside each individual app and website. But in the metaverse, you'll be able to take all your digital items with you across the worlds and project them back into the real world as holograms. You can also bring things from the real world into the digital world. Everything that can be represented digitally can travel with you there. And things you purchase in the metaverse may also have in real life versions as well. The inoperability is not just between all the products, but also between the real worlds and the metaverse. 
Third, co-creation. This is how the metaverse will be built. As mentioned, it is not something that's owned by one entity or company. With people, creators, businesses, developers, and more. This is what's happening and will continue to happen. What we're seeing is it's happening at a greater speed. We're moving from a world brokered by platforms and companies to a world that will be owned and created by us. And there's never been a more exciting time to create than now. The tools that are available to create with the metaverse can realize practically any image or any dream, from complicated gaming worlds to imaginary celestial moonscapes. We believe that anything and any, any place is possible. This rich creator community is also what's bringing life to technology, and together we'll co-create with these communities, purposely and in planned ways, but also as we participate in experiences. The future of the metaverse will be the sum of all that building. By really building with these three Cs, you're able to co-create experiences that deliver value and resonate emotionally with your audience. For example, what is more emotional than co-presence, feeling like you're really with someone? Or what is more valuable than continuity, having the ability to take your experiences and travel with them wherever you go? And co-creation is how they'll be built. So given that we now understand the basics of the metaverse, as well as the mechanics that give it its magic, where do we start? We start with understanding that people have evolved from viewers to doers. We are all experiencing our content, not watching it. We also have the power to decide what people want and what brands are allowed into our metaverse. This is a significant shift from thinking about behavior, messaging, and brand lift to thinking about how will you show up for people. There are five ways in which we can step into the metaverse today. Number one, augment your world. Millions of people use AR every single day. We all use it on face filters, on different lenses, and soon we can experience a seamless layer of augmented reality integrated into our daily lives. It's about setting the scene, the experience that you would like to give the people. At Meta, we've done a great job with mobile AR through face effects on our platforms such as Instagram and Facebook stories to AR selfies on the mobile screen. But it's time to fundamentally shift the way that we think about AR. Let's imagine AR through a lens of smart glasses and imagine how it can add a layer of amazing virtual experience to our lives. Here are some great examples of what we might be able to see through some smart glasses. Brands and businesses have also begun to play in this area, but we're only just scratching the surface. Here are a few examples, one from Pringles using world effects and a hand tracking game in a careers ad from Meta. There are also memorable experiences being built around geo-anchoring AR effects. So in this effect, it encourages you to take the phone and go to five different places. In this example, it's Hyde Park to discover a unique experience. And this is all about layering those AR filters on top of different locations and buildings. Culture on our platform is driven by users. In 2020, people spent 121 billion minutes with creator content and vibrant creator communities are taking shape across all of Meta's platforms, as well as other platforms globally. Creators come in limitless shapes and sizes. They can be lifestyle authorities, entertainers, comedians, artists, and subject matter experts in fields as broad as health and beauty or as niche as something like cross-stitch. What unites them is their independence, their humanity, and their constant interaction with their followers and community. Creators are also leading the way when it comes to many of our apps and services, and we're really starting to see that with their interaction on the metaverse. Through creating filters on Spark AI, or actually creating space in Horizon Worlds, which is our social area within the metaverse.
Creators can also amplify or evolve a brand's tone. And we've already seen this for multiple years across our platforms like Instagram. They give the brand's credibility, they give a point of view on that brand, and they give that to their audiences. So they often have that, um, they buy that trust and obviously they buy that loyalty through that. Brands can enlist creators to help them speak the language of the platform and there are many different examples of this so far. Number three, explore new horizons. Horizon Worlds is an immersive social VR network where people come to experience user-created content, explore, engage in their interests, and actually connect with others as well. It has really helped to democratize the world of VR. Anyone with a headset can start creating and playing, join, join Horizon Workroom, start talking to other avatars around them, and really start engaging with other people. So far, over 10,000 different VR worlds have been created. And the experience in Horizon Worlds are inherently social. They are present, they are collaborative, and lots of interactivity and responsiveness for participants through wearables, grabbables, avatar gesture reactions, and gaming mechanics. And like this example here for the ice cream frenzy. We're already seeing an imaginative variety of different activities in Horizon Worlds, some inspired by the world and gaming to give people a chance to work together, and then some inspired by bringing people together on a task or learning something through a virtual experience. Play and make games like Super Marble Mayhem, where people have a shared gaming experience, or purpose-driven experience like Horizon Future Farms, where you step into the world of farming and you get your virtual hands dirty, or a collaborative activity like this example, Waffle O'Clock, where people can join a kitchen and work together to accomplish a task. And it isn't all about gaming either. We're doing a lot of different education, so we have uh, surgeons and you know, train surgeons who are training, learning about the anatomy of different bodies. We have VR headsets in schools where children are learning about the world, and there are many different examples um, and programs that we're seeing are created. Brands and businesses can also think about how to world, build a world that affects their mission and their values, and to really educate their consumers and customers about this. People can step into these worlds and better understand what drives that brand. Number four, build scalable immersion. People engage with digital experiences in more ways than ever. WebXR is a scalable, adaptable way to reach people with the right level of immersion for their device. So here's a great example from Alte National Gallery. It's a dreamy interpretation of the real museum, which is based in Berlin. It leads you into an immersive 3D version of an iconic, iconic painting um, captured from the headset. It's a quick example here. Each experience is built from the medium, and it unlocks the ability to reach people at scale and at emotional depth. So the mobile version of experience is built and formatted specifically for mobile. People accessing it on desktop browser will see a version specifically tailored for them, and in the headset, people will have a deeply immersive experience. I can't click because the time's up. <laughs> oh, sorry. So, got two more. Go ahead. Thank you. Uh, number five, harness the power of presence. So video calling has become a cultural phenomenon. You know, more than ever, we're using video calls to connect and experience more expressive conversations. We're using it every single day to speak to our family and friends. So think about how much immersive, how much more immersive this will be um, with different filters and different games that you can play along the way. With the Spark Multi-Peer API, all creators and developers can build dynamic real-time interactive effects for larger audiences and transform the way that people are experiencing video calling. And we're already starting to see brands play around with these features. As you can see, there are so many areas that we can explore when it comes to connection, whether it's through moments, gaming, dress up, projects, and so on. We're just getting started, and there are so many ideas that can be created. And with everything that we've covered, covered how to think about those three Cs, co-presence, continuity, co-creation, and how can you can take these principles forward. These are the three things to think about when you're thinking of creating and delving into the metaverse. The value that you're delivering to your community, the experiences 
and the differences between immersive experiences and traditional content. And the emotions, experiences elicit much more memorable emotion than traditional content. So how do you want people to feel? I hope that this presentation helped provide some more insight into the metaverse and the steps that you can take to participate in and help build these experiences for the future. There's never been a more exciting time to be involved. Thank you so much for your time. That is Priya Patel Shomel. Thank you so much for being here. That was very cool. Thank I you. learned a lot. It's not scary at all. It wasn't scary. <laughs> Maybe a little scary. Uh, if you want to catch up with her, talk more about the metaverse, possibly talk about how to get that blue tick on Instagram. Just saying, I'm still waiting.